Bonjour and welcome to this Kid Time Story Time brought to you by me, Gilles de French Giraffe, and me, the Kid Time Story Time Storyteller. Oui, and I hope that you are prepared. Uh, prepared for what? To be lifted up, up, and away. Wow. Gilles certainly has a flair for the dramatic. And actually, I just want to point out that the reason I'm wearing this little ring that you see right here is because I got it especially in Transylvania. No, I got it in a bad cave. No, I got it inside a snake's stomach. No, I got this ring in Paris. Oh, well, that's strange. I don't even know what you're doing here, Maleficent. Uh, actually, I don't know either. All right. Shall we? Paris, Up, Up and Away by the very French sounding Helene Drouvert. Oh, this is going to be a very especially beautiful one. Uh, it's got to have, well, as you can see, we're going to have some cutout action. And already, right off the bat, look at this gorgeous Eiffel Tower. And it's a little bit like Up with all the balloons on the house, except this one has balloons on the Tour Eiffel. I think that's how they say it. Is that how they say it, Gilles? I am busy. Oh, sorry. You went off to have a cappuccino, I guess. Paris, up, up, and away. The Eiffel Tower is bored today. What? The Eiffel Tower gets bored? Well, wouldn't it be nice to fly away? Paris is full of things to do. The tower would like to see them too. What? Like, oh, that explains the balloons. Ooh. The tower takes off for the day to watch the city work and play. Look at that. Everybody's looking up. Hey, look. Oh, I've never seen that happen before. Oh, look. See, there they are. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, well, nor have I, kid. Nor have I. Oh, cut out. Oh, look how pretty it looks on this side. Oh, yes. Can you see that? I'm going to open the book a little bit just so you can see all of it. There we go. The tower takes off for the day to watch the city work and play. Goodbye, tower. Goodbye. Oops, I let my balloon go. Ah! Oh, I hate it when that happens. The tower looks down from the sky and sees the River Seine roll by. Ah, yes. The River Seine is the river that cuts through the middle of Paris. And boats go on it and people sit and stroll along it. They have their lunch next to it. Oh, look at that. And now we see the different angle from here. People walking across over the bridge. And there's this gentleman here playing the accordion. And with the bear. Ah, it passes the bridges and boats below. But the clouds are turning dark. Oh, no. Rain starts falling from the sky. The tower looks for somewhere dry. There's the metro. That's the Paris uh, subway, the metro. Oh, and here are the people carrying their umbrellas. Umbrellas help keep off the rain. True statement. So they are very wise to have their umbrellas with them. And I guess they're going off to the metro. And here, but Paris looks pretty just the same, even if it's in the rain. And there's little old Eiffel just enjoying the refreshing raindrops like a mini shower. The Opera is the tower's next stop where ballerinas twirl and hop. This is a very cultured tower wanting to go to Le Opera. The tower shrinks down. Oh, magic. Small and neat to walk with people on the street. Oh, look at that. First it visited the opera, saw the dancers, and then shrunk down here to be with the people. It is a tower of the people, after all. And look at that. Nobody even seems to notice, except maybe this tiny little dog right here. I think he's noticing what's up. It visits a big department store. Oh, yeah. With lovely things on every floor. Ah, yes, because when you go to Paris, you must do a little shopping. And that's what we do. Like we buy a ring on the streets. I mean, it wasn't on the street. Well, I mean, it was a shop just off the street. I don't know why I'm being so specific right now. 
Let's see here. The sun comes out and the sky is clear. The tower lands in a park that's near. Okay, so we're coming down. And what's happening over here? Oh, look at that beautiful park. While the children play and the birds fly free, the tower snoozes under a tree. Oh, taking a little nap, are we? Nice. In the meantime, look at this cutout. Look, it's a merry-go-round with horses. And this girl right here, it seems to be jumping. She's got a, a what do you call that? A rope, a thing. Uh, oh, you're going to have to tell me in the comments because I'm forgetting my word. The word for when you jump on the jump rope. That's it. Okay, you don't have to tell me in the comment after all. And here's this kid and he's doing his kid time story time. And these two are snuggling together on a park bench talking about their favorite books. And here's a baby and here's a girl with some balloons and one of them is shaped like a heart, which I know Gilles would really appreciate. And there's another dog. The French, they love their dogs. The tower wakes up. Is someone calling? Oh, this is does the Eiffel have a cell phone? The Notre Dame bells say night is falling. Ah, oh. look, this is Notre Dame. You also hear it pronounced in English as Notre Dame, but Notre Dame is the cathedral of Paris. If uh, you watch the Hunchback of Notre Dame from Disney, this is the church. It's a famous church and it's been in many movies as an important character practically. So the tower wakes up, is someone calling? Ding dong, ding dong. The Notre Dame bells say night is falling. Oh, does that mean we have to hurry up and get back to our usual place? The t tower oh, switches on its lights and shines them on the city's sights. Ah, yes, because Eiffel does have a beautiful light on top. See, it looks like people are settling in for dinner and the ballerinas are in class. And this fella right here is drawing, drawing at his table. And these kids are, look like they're waiting for dinner to be served. And there's a kitchen and she's playing the piano here. I like that. And these, this looks like a mom and a daughter and they're looking up at the Eiffel Tower and the moon and the stars. Good night, Paris. The day is done, but I'm sure tomorrow will bring more fun. And there we see Le Seine. Ah, and then we have a map, a map of all the places we've been and places that we'd like to go. The Arc de Triomphe, the Opera, Le Galerie. I bet that's where Eiffel Tower went shopping. Montmartre. Where the, um, where the big church is, and here's the Moulin Rouge here, and the Parc Butte Chamont. I wonder if that's where Eiffel took a nap under a tree. So many areas, and see, this is where the Eiffel normally is hanging out when it's not grabbing balloons and going on an unexpected flight. And that is Paris, up, up, and away. I hope that you love my city and my favorite tower as much as I love my city and my favorite tower. Hello, Eiffel. I still love you even though I am over here right now. Oh, the city of light. I hope you get to visit it one day and that you also feel like you are taking up, up and away. Oh, Gilles. Well, kid, remember, you can always be taken up, up, and away here at Kid Time Story Time. So subscribe and, you know, let's see what we'll take you next. See you next time. Maybe uh, I'll go with you. I mean, just to see. I hear that the bats do there is magnifique.